Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another round of coffee and questions. What are we going to talk about today? Um, I bought a new tool. I bought a new rotary grinding tool or uh, detail tool, whatever you want to call it. It's for smaller projects from Tack Life off Amazon. So I'll do a little bit of a product review here on it. I'm going to open it up here in a second. It's to replace my old one. Now this one, like I told you in that previous video, I don't even see a name on this thing anywhere. So got it at a garage sale, paid five bucks. It works good. It still works okay. Um, I damaged and lost the little pressed down kind of plastic button here. So now it's just metal. Kind of a pain in the butt for me to hold this down. Sometimes I got to hold it down with a screwdriver to, you know, loosen up the bit here and get it on and off. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get another one. So I did. Now, all right, what did I buy? Here's the unboxing. Take it out of the box. There's another box. It says Pack Life on it. What does it say? 120 volt, power tools, rotary, RTD35AC. I'll leave it in the link below. I don't like. I don't particularly like unboxing and going through five minutes of the box if somebody opens the box. Nice case. It fits inside of my toolbox nicely. That's the one thing I like about the Tack Life so far. It's got these slide locks. You just open them up. I saw in the comments some of the people criticized them. Um, I don't think there's a problem with them. I don't at all. Let's open it up. Okay. Now, what do you get in here? Let's, let's look through this. I'm going to go through it slow. I'll edit things down. But uh, let's take a look. Okay, first thing is you get a warranty card. You get a 30 day, no questions asked, kind of a warranty. This print's real small. Good thing I got my dollar store glasses, right? Let's see what it says. 30 day money back guarantee, 30 days plus three months. They'll replace any defective part in it due to manufacturer fault. Return to TAC Life gives you the address, the support numbers, all of that. Okay. What is this great big chart for? Now this is like a speed chart, if you want to use it. You can go through and take a look. Are you gonna drill, polish? What are you gonna do? What kind of material are you gonna do? And it will give you the recommended settings because it has a variable speed on it. We'll show you that in a minute. That's what this whole thing's for, if you choose to use it. Universal manual. Okay, what this is showing you here without going through it step by step, which I don't think I'm going to need to, but it shows you step by step how to remove the collets, how to remove the guards, how to switch them, and everything else. But there's plenty of YouTube videos out there too that'll show you probably at a faster rate, but if not, that's what the little user manual's for. And this is part two of the user manual showing you in a different language, uh, probably Spanish or something, the exact same thing. All right. Here's another user manual. So they give you plenty of them. And again, this is showing you step by step how you would change the collet, the guard, how you put on the flex shaft, all that kind of stuff. So you get plenty of documentation with it. And there's, you know, tech support numbers and I mean, whatever else on there that you want. All right, let's get into the tool. First thing that jumps out at me in this case, right here is the flex tool, right here. This would come in pretty handy if you want to set it up like a master carver or, you know, Fordham or something like that. Let's take the tool itself out for a sec here. Here it is. Here's the extension cord. It's got a nice extension cord on it. I'll go over all the specs in a little bit with you. There's the switch right here for the variable speed. On the bottom, there's the on and off switch. Like I said, variable speed. Here's the collet lock right here. I can feel it lock. And this enables you, there's a little wrench, and it comes inside of this little accessory box here that will loosen this right here. 
It makes it so that you can stick a bit in it. Uh, let me grab a bit. And I got a bit. You would hold down the lock button. I would put it in here like this. Tighten it up finger tight. Then that little wrench. Right, so you got it right here. Press the lock button, finger tight. There's this little wrench that comes with it. Set it on here and snug it up. That's it, you're ready to go. Plug it in, flip it on, adjust your speed, and you can start carving into wood. Now, in this accessory bit set, what else comes in there? You get lots of little sanding sleeves, and there's the little drum thing that you slip the sleeve over. You tighten that little screw right there and it expands and holds it and this you can use for sanding. You have a wide assortment of metal grinding stones. Right here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, looks like six of them in here. A wire brush. Okay, nice little accessory kit. I'll tell you why before we keep going. <laughs> you don't know what you're going to use it for yet. They give you a wide assortment of stuff to try. Some of them I'll probably never use, but the ones that I will use and the ones that I find out that I like, you can easily just repurchase just those items. So it's nice that they give you that set. Okay, so in here, you get this little doodad right here. And what this is for, this is for the polishing wheels. Okay, you get lots of little polishing wheels. There's two little ones, two large ones. This is a large one. You simply just screw it right onto here. You'll see there's a little hole there. Okay, just like this. Put it in the tool and when it spins, you got a little bit of buffing compound or if you just use wax, it doesn't matter if it's Johnson's Paste Wax really because I've used them before with other brands of waxes, Meguiar's, Johnson's Paste Wax, whatever I have laying around. These do an excellent job, and so you can decide. This is for small work. I've got bigger buffing machine, but this is for smaller work. It works really well. Small Allen wrench, okay, helps you with those fittings that I was telling you about. Okay, you get some drill bits in here, okay, two of them right here on my left. Now, this tall one, everybody goes, that's a weird drill bit. I mean, why would anybody want that? Well, it's not for that it's for sheetrock drywall you can actually put this in there and I'll show you there's a guide it's almost like a plunge router guide and if you set this up like let's say you want to go around an electrical outlet on drywall that you already have marked out you just zip and zip like this and out it comes that's pretty much what this bits for the other two standard drilling now you get a few other bits in here. These are grinding bits. One of them is like a real sharp detail bit. The other two are small round. They are not the best in the world. I have a better set of these that I got off Amazon. But if you just want to familiarize yourself with what the tool can do, what it's possible, they're okay for a project or two before they screw up on you. All right. You have an extra collet in here. Uh, it's probably a different size. It's not hard to change the collet out on these because all you're going to do with this, if I loosen this up and I'm holding down the locking mechanism, I can take this piece all the way off right here. And when you do, there's the collet. Take this one out, put the other one on for the different size, or you can buy more of them online if you screw it up. Now, in that older one that I have right here, I've never changed the collet. It's the same collet and it's just used indefinitely. I don't have any problems with the collet at all. So I don't stay too concerned about it. Here's a little package of cutoff wheels it comes with, and now it also comes with this adapter for it, and you need to use that. And there's a screw on here, and there's these two little rubber rings. This cutoff wheel goes between those rubber rings. You tighten the screw, put this back into the rotary tool, and you can use it to cut steel, um, small stuff. 
I've got the four and a half inch angle grinder with cutoff wheels for the larger stuff, which is primarily what I do, but it's nice to have this in case you run into a situation where you need to cut a screw, a bolt, can't get to it with the bigger one, you might be able to get to it with this. Other little package, these are sanding pads. Okay, now they're gonna go on, there's another adapter in here too, they simply just, there's a hole, I don't know if you can see it, there's a hole through each one of these little round sanding discs. Put it on there, put it on the tool, and you can use it for sanding. Now, I don't think it's something I'll ever use, but I think that it's nice that they included that in this kit. Let me take a look. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything that I was telling you about the kit. Grinding stones. There's eight of them in this kit. A lot. Probably more than I'll use. Uh, but if I do use them and I want more, I know where to go buy them. They're easily available on Amazon. Okay, that's the accessory box. Now let's move into the other things that it comes with and how you would use them. Okay, I wanna talk about the flexible shaft and how handy that this can be for you. The first thing you wanna do with this is you wanna pull this shaft sleeve out right here. Pull it out a good distance. You'll see that little gold, like washer thing around it. Take your carver. I'm gonna take the tip off. Don't lose this tip. And then this right here, this sleeve, take this off. Now, you're going to take this and you're going to slip it in the collet. I'm sorry, you're going to put this collet cover back over it like this. Slip this into here till it bottoms out, that little gold thing. And then just tighten it down by hand. Use the little wrench that it came with, snug it up. Slip the sleeve over this like this. drop this down to get the snake bend out of it or whatever. Just like this. Okay. Now you've got it like a wand. Okay, now I can tell you because I have the master carver. There's a couple of things to be careful about that people don't mention in these videos. Here's a nice little hang. Okay, right here. This is cool. Now, you can hang this up. And I'm going to hang this up on something right now for just a moment. Just to get it out of the way for a sec. So let's say that you have this turned on. I was at a friend of mine's house. You don't want to do this and have all these weird angles and bends. I try to keep this as straight as I can, coming down to where I have plenty of room for my project. Now right here, here's another collet. You're gonna loosen it up. The way that you're going to do that this time, and it's probably, you can use any of these that are in here, any of these bits to do this. There's a hole right here. Okay, you gotta turn this until you feel this thing lock about halfway into it. When you do, it locks that shaft. Now, you can then undo this, loosen it up. You can take your carving bit now, slip it in here like this, tighten it back up, use your little wrench to secure it. Don't forget to take this out. And now you're good to go. Okay, so keep as much looping and sharp bends out of this as you can. I've got something overhead that's just a, a hook, really. I'm just watching it bounce around. Now I can reach up with the, with, you know, with the power cord plugged in, I can turn it on, and I can sit here and I can do whatever kind of work. My Master Carver works the same way. Um, this does too. Master Carver, of course, is a hell of a lot more powerful uh, than this Tack Life. But the tack life works. It works great. Okay, so there's no problem with that. But that's my advice on this shaft, okay? Because you, what you don't want to do, and I've done this before on my master carver, is if you're too close to your clothes or something and it hits it like this, that shaft inside of here, it'll snap on you like that. Then it's about, for the master carver, it runs about $30, $35 for me to get this whole new shaft you know, replace. So after busting it once or twice, I learned my lesson to be damn careful, keep it away from clothing, keep it away from rags or anything like that. Because once it catches here and binds, these are designed to snap. Why? I don't know. I mean, maybe it's a safety thing, but they are in, I don't call them fragile. They'll stand up to a lot, but don't forget this thing is spinning it. 32,000 plus RPMs and just toosh like that and that's all it takes. Otherwise, after I learned my lesson, my master carver, 
I have a backup shaft. I mean, I never had that problem again. So anyway, just my advice on that. Let's move forward. So I'm gonna take it back down. I'm gonna reverse everything that we did. And we'll put this back in the case and then we'll go on with talking about the other stuff. Now what I really like is this thing actually just sits back in here nice and secure in these tabs. Keeps everything together and I'm not just leaving it laying flat in one of my drawers. Okay. So let's take this little thing off here again, the little call it securing nut. So you don't want to lose it, we'll keep it to the side. Now, there's a handle for it. If you want to use it, it just sets on here like this, right? And here you go. And you can set this up to be like a screwdriver if that's what you want to do. All right, now. Now, it comes with these two plastic nuts in here, okay, because they're used differently. Now, I put this handle on here. Okay, I have to use the other one. It's a little bit shallower. And then there you go. Now you can hold this almost like a drill. Might be more comfortable for you. I don't know. Um, but okay, that's pretty slick for the handle. So I'm going to take it off. But remember, this is one of two special nuts that are in there. I'm going to take the handle off. Well, what is this for? It's kind of like you can use it as a router. I can set the depth here, okay? You can see the white markings on there. I can put this on here, okay? And I can put a bit in there. Well, let's just do it, all right? And I can put this on here like this. I can screw it down. I can turn around. I would encourage you not to do what I just did. I mean, put your bit in there first, then put this on. Anyway. I can set the depth here now to whatever I want. Okay. And I can turn around and go like this, like a plunge router into wood. Move it all around. Now, I have a DeWalt trim router, so I don't think I'll ever be using this for anything like that because my trim router will probably do everything I want it to do. But it's nice to have this in case you run into a situation where this could be very handy for you. But that's what this is for, and you can set the depth on it. Okay. Now. And what is this? This is like a little deflector shield you can put on there. Maybe you can put it on if you're going to be using that little cutoff wheel or something where it's going to throw sparks, lots of debris and so forth. Uh, like I said, maybe not something I'm going to use, but that's what it's for. It's nice they included it here in the kit. And they got the handle, like I told you. Let me get everything put back to show you what it looks like again. Okay. You got the two nuts. The one that comes on it automatically, which is right here, that's the way it's gonna come in the box. Here's the other one for if you're gonna use the handle or some of the other accessories, but primarily the handle. Get all your bits and stuff, which I think is real cool. You got the flex shaft. And here's what it looks like without the tool in it. Okay, like I said, nice box, easy to fit in the toolbox. All right. All right, questions and answers, here we go. Um, what do I think of it overall? I like it so far. It's loud, it's noisy. Um, there's plenty of things on, online to show you demos of it, but yeah, it, I like it. It's got a good solid feel to it, I mean, actually. And this is nice rubber here. So I mean, it feels good. My last one was just all plastic, I mean, so. This has got a little bit better feel to it. Not that that's a big deal, I mean, because the other one worked and still does totally fine until I broke the little thing on it. Like about, let's take a look at the old one and this one. This one, right here, my old one, when I'm using it, I'm grabbing it like this usually, okay? It's got a couple little ports up here, but see my hand is covering these exhaust ports. Um, Unless you're holding it way back here and I don't, it just doesn't feel right, it feels awkward. What I like about this one is the dust ports, you know, or the exhaust ports, what have you, are in the back or in the front. So if I'm holding it like this, 
my hand's not obstructing any of them. So I kind of like that, you know, part of the design. What's the RPM range? It's 10,000 to 32,000 RPMs. It's, uh, it's 35 watt from what I read. Now, I'm going to leave the link below on the one that I bought. Now, Tac Life makes many of these kits. They make them all the way up into the hundreds of accessories and uh, different configurations. This is the one that I bought. The price is usually about $30 on Amazon. I had gotten some gift card, you know, off of Amazon for some weird reason. I think it was for like $5 off, something like that. So I paid $25, $26, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I would have still paid the 30 I mean, to answer your question. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, I really like it. It comes with plenty of accessories. I think it's a good deal. Uh, what do I think of this in comparison to Dremel and some of the others? I don't know. There's some YouTube videos. I didn't see that there was any huge or significant difference, really. This will definitely, I mean, do the job. Now, those other ones are like, some of them are like $50 and up. I mean, so, I don't know. For the 30 bucks, this works perfectly fine. It replaces what I'm doing. I'm not using it every single day, but when I do need it, it's nice to have. As long as the, oh, how long is the power cord? It's six feet. Why didn't I get the other kit and spend the money? Um, I thought about it. I really did. Uh, the other kit was 252 pieces. This one, I think, was 80 piece. And I thought, you know, look, I'm not going to use all 252 of these attachments. I mean, it's a nice little advertising uh, sales thing. But um, I know that I'll use it maybe once in a while for cutting, a lot of times for sanding, primarily for a lot of carving. This came with what I needed, and I don't rely on these particular carving bits. I'll, I'll do another demo on the carving bits that I use. I use much higher quality carving bits, but that's pretty much what I was going to use it for. So I didn't need to spend all that extra money on accessories that I wasn't going to use. What am I going to do with the old one? I don't know. You buy 60 or 75 horseshoes from me and your subscriber, I'll probably just throw it in. I don't need all three carvers. So I'm more than happy to give one, one away. I mean, literally with a purchase to somebody that would like to experiment and see if they want to start using it more often. So like I said, it still works. I just busted the little plastic locking pin and you got to use something to hold it down, but it still works fine. Okay. I don't see a lot of questions out here. I've covered everything that comes in this kit. The best thing is, is just get out there, try it. Maybe you come across one at a garage sale, maybe you get a better deal on eBay, Amazon. Maybe you bought one of these other ones and you want to talk about it. Let me know in the comment below what you're using. Okay, for me right now, it's going to be Tac Life. I don't even remember the brand of the other one. I'm sure that Dremel and some of these other ones, you'll pay a little bit more. I don't think it's a lot more money and they're equally as good, maybe a little bit better. I don't know. I don't own all these. If you own one, let me know what you think below. You folks have a great day. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.